So last week, the OECD, the Organisation of Economic Cooperation and Development, a thoroughly trusted agency of the United Nations, pronounced Australia the happiest country in the world. What? Who were they talking to, for God's sake? Haven't they been reading The Australian? Haven't they been talking to Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey? I mean, don't they know that Australia is in dire straits? Australia's in the horrors. Australia is in the brink of disaster. Well, no, of course, it isn't. But that is the received wisdom among the electorate, which seems to be among the gloomiest in the world at the moment resigned to the fact that they're going to have to elect Tony Abbott because he's the lesser of the hatred hated, but not at all keen on the idea. Australia is in fact a fairly miserable place and the question is whether it's miserable because of the politics or the misery has turned the politics bad. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is it needn't be as bad as this. It could be better and it has been better. I mean, even before 19, the beginning of 2008, in the early days of the Rudd government, there was a wave of optimism, there was a wave of good feeling about the place. People thought we were capable of just about anything. And if you go back a bit further, think of the Whitlam era which we've just seen a bit of on ABC television. Now, I should declare an interest. I was part of that program. But let me tell you that those times were exhilarating. Those times were terrific. Even the mistakes that were made, and there were plenty of them, even they had a kind of grandeur about them. Nowadays, it's become so petty. It's all spiteful, it's all about little issues, things that don't really matter. It's all whinging and bitching and carrying on, a sort of half-hearted catfight between people who don't even have the will for a decent stand-up stoush. Politics has become debased in Australia. And I don't know what we can do about it except wait and hope for something to come around again. But in the meantime, we can always remember the good days and we can always know that we are still capable of big things. The National Disability Insurance Scheme, the National Broadband Network, the possibility of major education reform, all of these are worth doing, they're worth getting excited about. So for Christ's sake, let's stop being so depressive about everything. It's not nearly as bad as you think it is. Just ask the OECD. And I'm Mungo McCallum.